I always say like the three H's, heat hinges handle. So use your tick. If a door's hot, you're going to see it. it. It doors, even though if, even if it's a five sort of flame retardant door and a, a fire door, this, you're going to see something. Um, and then assess from what you see. So if that door's cold, chances are there's nothing behind that door. There's no raging inferno. So let's crack the door and have a look. Don't wrong, smoke is fuel. Smoke will burn. You can get cold smoke explosions. I get all that. Fantastic. But in most circumstances, you can open a door up and you've got more than three seconds to gauge what's going on. This kind of like philosophy is, right, I'm going to open the door on three. I'm going to put a pulse above my head and then I'm going to put a pulse inside and then I'm going to slam the door shut. Why? What, what are you gaining or losing? You're not getting a chance to actually ascertain what's in that room. And it's the same thing of like, if you're going to, Put a short pulse immediately inside that compartment. That's going to potentially give you a temperature check of like a meter area inside that compartment. And chances are, if that fire's not fully developed, there's going to be no heat there anyway. Because if you think of like time distance shielding, the way um, your radiation sort of bounces out from a fire, unless it's bouncing or immediately inside the doorway, it's going to tell you nothing at all. So I have a door assessment. Have a look. Use your tick. If there's nothing in there, let's make fast progress. There's no point doing multiple rounds on a door. You're killing time. You can kill five minutes on a door.